Well, welcome. <laughs> welcome to my shit show. <laughs> um, hi, how are you? So, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katana Prokosh. I'm the owner and designer of Battleborn Bikinis and Zozo Competition Suits. You guys, I just hired a seamstress. No, the world's not ending, but mine is just growing. I hired a seamstress. Next week, I get to start with her. Today is Monday, uh, the 14th, 15th, something like that. And next Monday, I get to start training her. So I have to really like figure out how do I train somebody? <laughs> and what we're gonna start with, I actually know what we're gonna start with. We're gonna start with the fall collection because I haven't done it for it. Instead, I manufactured a bunch of resort wear and lounge wear because um, I get to go shopping when I do that, when I manufacture. I don't have to hand sew anything. I can shop from my phone. So, um, the resort line for this specific swimwear was the cream suit and the brown suit that I did at the lagoon shoot. Those two suits, um, the, the cream one crossed around my neck and then the brown one was that tube top. Those were the two I was dropping for fall. Um, 22nd of September and so we're like five days away and what I'm doing is I'm going to put it up for order so I have the pictures of the suits and then people can purchase them made to order which I dislike doing but I think that's gonna be great for my new employee so as we get orders in I'm gonna teach her how to sew those particular ones rather than just kind of like jumping all over the place and in the meantime I will stock up on those suits the brown one and the cream one and we'll probably make like one of each size and then as orders come in we'll see how that works and then we have the legion sports fest october 24th so we are making posing suits for um, the legion and posing suits are basically the same style as a competition suit so the same cut top and bottom but there's no connectors there we may put like a little one between the bust or the shoulders for fun um they're not they're not sparkly like they're just posing suits so you can pose in them you can do your check-ins with your coach and your trainer and you can wear these suits and you know that they're going to be the same cut as your competition suit so that's what we're making for legion legion is known um from lou frigno which was the hulk and so this show came up from Palm Springs, California to Reno, Nevada last year. And I'm so excited because last year was COVID. So this show was kind of like dumb. I'm super excited this year though. It's a two day show and it's like superhero themed. So although superhero prints are copyright, um, we do have a few in stock. We have this Marvel one and we have a few others that we got our hands on. Um, that we are going to sell there at Legion. So I got all these new prints in for fall. Let me zoom out. Why is it? Why is it foggy when I zoom out? Hold on. All right. So these are these. These are these. These are these. La, 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 la. Prints. New prints I got for fall. And I wanted to make a suit with you guys today. Um, I know I've done a cow print before. Um, but this sunflower one, I don't know why. I, I'm not a fan of the cow print, but with the sunflowers, I eat it up. This one, I'm full Texas, like, not politically. <laughs> full Texas in the fact that I, like, I love this print. I love the pattern. I love the teal. I love, like, I just, I love it. I love the little, like, glitz here. It definitely reminds me of Texas. And this one, I actually thought the print would come in a lot smaller, like a quilt, like um, patchwork. But let's see real quick. If I take like, let's say a bottom here, you can see we're only going to get maybe four or five patchworks. Let's see. Let's find a boob. Yeah. So I was hoping for smaller. Next time I'll look at that because um, I've got quite a bit of this. And so we got to make suits for that too. And then I'll put them up on my site. So these ones are going to be mostly posing suits. 
Uh, this one though, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This one's gonna be a posing suit for sure. And then these ones I'm not sure. These are prints that I hand designed myself and I showed my designer and she had some fun and we made a bunch of prints for fall. Um, we didn't order much, if you can see here, just like a yard. Uh, we didn't order much because we had some like wishy-washy when we voted on who liked what, but this one got the most votes and it has the cute little bumblebees. And um, so we got the most of this, but look at this fabric, bougie as fuck. I'm not sure why it wasn't focusing, sorry. And this one, fresh out of fucks. And then this one, I just made this suit today and I paired it with the purple. I thought that that, I want it focus, dude, focus. Why won't it focus? But I, I really liked the purple because there's purple flowers in there. And so, if you're looking for this print, you can find it on Spoonflower. It's by Andrea Lauren. And I still don't know why it won't freaking focus. So whatever. Um, let's let's kind of narrow down some designs for this. Thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I might have to go to Pinterest because, or you know my screenshots. I have a bunch of like inspo ideas. Just so you know, I don't steal 100% somebody else's ideas, but I might tweak it a little bit. Um, and I have tons of patterns, obviously, but I'm gonna do something new. All right, I got an inspiration. So I'm gonna do a tube top with a scrunch uh, down the middle of the chest. And then it's just going to be one string that loops all the way around because that's pretty easy and call it good. But it's super cute and I haven't done it before, especially with the scrunch down the middle. And then for the bottoms, I'm going to add um, a scrunch as well. I'll insert a picture of the inspiration right here. And then I'm going to do the bottoms without the skirt. And a matching scrunchie, because you cannot live without matching scrunchies. Okay, so I've never tried this design before, and these bottoms, I think I'm gonna fucking love them. I already love the scoop bottom, so let me get at the most horrible angle and show you. These are the scoop bottoms that I already have a pattern for, and all I did was added this cute scrunch right here. So, the scoop bottom is the same cut as the front and the back. So you could wear this as if it's a scrunch butt. But my idea was that it goes in the front. And then this is going to tie around your waist. So, I don't know. We got to try it on. It's so freaking cute. I got to finish up the top real quick because I'm going to add the same scrunch detail to the top. So it matches. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is the reversible white. And then this is with that scrunch right here. And these straps come around. Now the scrunch I noticed on the white part, like this part right here, it's just more, more noticeable. So it kind of looks like it's pulling up your vagina. <laughs> so what I would probably do next time is just add more extra fabric there to allow for it to scrunch. Because right now it's just pulling from nothing. <laughs> it's trying to find fabric. Let me show you the different variations. I had no idea, I had no idea that there was gonna be so many variations with this suit. I'm gonna turn that music off. How stinking cute. I had to turn that music off because, you know, you can't have it. It's illegal. So, I actually, it's horrible. The lighting's actually coming from behind me, so it's not the best lighting. But, so this was literally just a rectangular top that I, and it can be adjusted so you could, like, scrunch it just like a normal bikini top. 
in this cute scrunch down here. So now this cute scrunch can also, so I guess it could go between your boobs here and it could go around your waist, but it can also go around your neck. You can go around your neck and you get this like cute illusion. So fun. So fun. So you can also turn this around and get the scrunch in the butt. So here it is just plain white because it is reversible and the scrunch is now in the butt. You can see it here. the scrunch and you can also tie a little bow although I think it's kind of long for a bow in the back personal opinion though you may like it what do we think it's so cute and then you can flip the top upside down too so the bow is down here and you can wrap it a few different ways Look at my large pumpkin. It's gonna be fun. So which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And my cute matching scrunchie. I love this top. I think I love the top more than the bottoms because it was so easy. Like a triangle, triangle. Did I say triangle? It's a rectangle. Wow rectangle with a scrunch so cute so cute and do you like this print do you like the sunflower cow print am i crazy because i freaking love it i love prints though i love prints i love color thanks for joining me until next time it's a sunflower and cow kind of day i'm so excited to play I'm going to reverse it with white. Now we're gonna sew it. Oh. I'm gonna make a matching scrunchie because why not? Oh my God. I'm gonna attempt to pull a strap through the front of this bottom. Wish me luck. I did it, I did it. Oh my God, so cute. So many variations, let's try it on. This is one way you could wear it. The scrunch is in the front, it ties up. Another way is the bow is in the back, and I tied this bow around my neck. It's completely reversible. You can also put the bow at the bottom and tie it behind your neck. I think this is my favorite way.